fucking everything. It seems like every time I go to make one of these, I'm saying, it's been a while. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> I was just talking to uh, a friend online. And we were talking about how so many people have like, fucked other people's mind up the last few years during COVID that we we're facing this pandemic and we're facing the rise of fascism in America and we're facing world crises um, and throw in at people are being just fucking Delusional twats. I apologize to twats for that. Just delusional assholes. I don't know. And creatively, it's been like, I've, I've never had a time in my life, even when I stopped writing for a number of years, because I was in a bad relationship. I've never had a time in my life where I completely am shut off from that part of my brain. When when I wasn't writing, I was at least thinking about writing, you know. And when I stopped trying to get published, I, I was I, I started making even more stuff then. But the past few years of having people acting like what was happening was this huge inconvenience for them. While they're working with people who have expressed that they have had personal close people that they don't die from COVID, when they've had people whose lives were really just completely just fucked over by COVID, and they keep doing this thing. They celebrate when they no longer have it to wear a mask. And some of them who refuse to do it, wearing one when we even had a policy, they get rewarded. Yeah. It's tough to, to make stories and art and stuff during those times. And, like, I, I'm in this mindset also of, like, I got to this good point where I wanted things to be good. And people don't understand what that means. It's, like, when you're learning new crafts, like filmmaking and stuff like that, in the beginning, just do it. Just do it. That's the best advice anybody should ever fucking give somebody when you're starting out. It's just fucking do it. But after you did it for a while, spend time just doing it for a while, you want to be good at it. Um, and I started wanting to be good at editing videos of all kinds. Whether it's fiction, whether it's editing podcasts, whether it's editing these or not editing these but set them up in a way and I want to use music because I'm paying for the music right through these different services oh, services and stuff excuse me but so I don't want to release stuff that I don't think is good enough and that's great that's great, but when your life and the world and everything else is just fucking you over in a lot of ways, and the thing that's been with you for most of your fucking life as, as a safety blanket or a light at the end of the tunnel when you're alone or anything, it's something you can't access, really. And you've got these boundaries. Some set up by yourself, like wanting things to be a certain level, but now you can't do. It. So, 
I'm pushing myself. I don't want to release videos because, like, my computer's a piece of shit. And it barely works. And I can't do stuff the way I want to right now, which is freaking depressing. And I don't have the money for another computer right now, which is freaking depressing. And, yeah. <laughs> and that's for many reasons, but... I don't know, I'm just going to say fuck it and start releasing stuff, even if it's not edited very well and stuff. Because my head's went all the way back to just freaking release stuff. Just fucking do it. And... You know those four people that watch my videos or whatever, those few people that listen to my stuff or buy the merch or whatever. You know? As they go down to two. I've never used the phrase I write or create for for uh, therapy. I know it works for a lot of people doing that. But I do it as nourishment. And I need that nourishment. And it's not even a reaction for people. Like I said, most people don't even watch or view or read the things I do. You know? But, maybe, you know, I don't know, how long is this video? Like, eight minutes or something like that? I don't know. I'm gonna drink this soda, it's probably gonna make my stomach hurt. I'm probably gonna get another kidney stones, but, hell, what the fuck? Because my insurance company decided they're not paying fucking two fucking emergency room bills. You know how much emergency room is in cash? Without insurance and stuff, when the insurance decides, fuck it, I ain't gonna pay any of it. And then I got people, like, acting like the last few years was a fucking inconvenience. Like a fucking rash or something. And I have people I love and care about, or I have after COVID effects right now. And for some reason, the person with asthma hasn't caught it. I don't know. <laughs> Things are fucking crazy.